I'm Ryan Kuhn, the CEO of Rent Solutions. And we've got a platform, the only end-to-end -end platform that landlords and real estate investors use to manage single-family homes, condos, and apartment buildings across the country. Today, we've got roughly 20,000 owners using our platform to manage properties in, in 6,000 different zip codes. Now, today I want to touch on three things. I want to touch on trends that we're seeing in the rental space. I want to touch on the impact that technology is having in the, rent, in the listing and leasing part of that business. And then I want to talk briefly about how you can use technology in your business to be more successful. We all know the rental space is massive. 110 million renters nationwide who live in 45 million rental units. And it's actually a bigger deal in New York City where almost 70% of all New York residents rent. It's enormous. And it's only getting bigger. People are owning homes less and less. The home ownership rate in the country is at the lowest it's been in decades. The trend of renting is going to continue. And there's one reason for it. And I'm going to give you a guess and give you a clue. It rhymes with schmillennial. <laughs> yes, it's all of us young people under the age of 40 who are driving this trend towards renting. And there's four reasons behind it. The first, we love amenities. Now, when I was an investment banker, I lived in an, in an apartment in Chicago that actually had a continental breakfast downstairs every day. So whether it's breakfast or it's a pool room like this or a movie theater, we all love these amenities. And they're a lot easier to get in rental properties than if you buy and own. The second thing that we love is community. We love being around people and interacting and engaging with our peers. We also love flexibility. Millennials, believe it or not, are change jobs three times more frequently than older generations. I want to be able to quit my banking job, move across the country, make Aaron's day, move to New York, <laughs> and not have to worry about anything but breaking my lease. The last thing that we love is convenience. When the furnace breaks or the water heater goes out, I want to call someone and sit there and just keep drinking my coffee. I want someone to come in, fix it for me, and move on. Now, all of, the, all of us millennials, we're driving these vacancy rates down lower and lower. New York historically has been a lot lower vacancy rate than the country, and that is only going to continue. Meanwhile, rent prices are continuing to go sky high. They're three times what they were a few decades ago. This is outpacing inflation. This is massive. So for all of us, how can we continue to put ourselves in position to win business in this world? Well, it's like the Panasonic guys said a few minutes ago. We need to be able to speak the millennial, the millennial language. We need to be able to communicate with them. And if there's one thing that all millennials have in common, as Panasonic guys noted, is that we love technology. Um, we love technology. The girl in the background here has two cell phones on her desk. She's on a computer looking at a picture of another computer. It's unbelievable. So how, how is it that we can all use technology to drive more business in our real estate business? Well, technology is impacting how we list properties. We want to list rental properties, list available properties online. Why? Because you get more leads. You're able to reach a bigger, broader audience. In the fourth quarter last year, Zillow had almost 125 million unique visitors to their sites. It's massive. About a third of the US population visited Zillow 
just in the fourth quarter. We like Zillow, Trulia, StreetEasy, Hotpads, Apartments.com. Those are some of the most successful for driving listing leads for our customers, for our owners. When you're creating a listing online, you need to be sure to have great, great photography. It's really important to not just tell people what they're getting, but to show people what they're getting. You need to have a catchy title. We don't have long attention spans, so you need to be very short, very quick. And then lastly, going back to one of my previous points, amenities. We love the extras. And there may actually be a way that you can make additional money. So one of the things I see a lot of our customers do is they include cable and internet. It costs the owner 30 or 50 bucks a month per unit, but they can charge an extra 75 or 100 by offering that and including it and baking it into the rent price. The next way that we can use technology is in screening prospective tenants. Believe it or not, more than 60% of owners of rental properties nationwide don't actually screen tenants. It's unbelievable. And given the recent financial crisis, given all the student debt that's out there, if you don't have a clear picture of who you're renting to and understand their financial situation, you could be losing a lot of money. You could be making a bad bet. The other advantage to screening tenants online is you can track where they are in the application process. You can actually view, for example, through our system, we'll tell you whether someone started the application, how much of it's completed, whether they've done the credit report, if their background check has been processed, all those things you now have visibility into. Through our platform, we also automatically check references. So when a prospective tenant types in his or her employer email address or a former landlord's email address, we're automatically sending out reference checks to those people. You no longer have to pick up the phone and call. That's all done electronically and automatically. And lastly, screening tenants online is more secure. For me as a, as a renter, I hate the thought of scribbling down all my personal information on a sheet of paper and handing that over to a complete stranger. This is ridiculous. Everything that's needed for identity theft, I've just given to someone who I've never met before. Doing it online also saves you as a broker or as an owner <coughs> liability that you may incur if someone breaks into your office and steals this information. The third way to use technology is in the leasing process. E-signatures make the whole process a lot more efficient. In, in 2000, Congress passed the E-Sign Act, as it's commonly known. And this governs the rules of electronic signatures and made e-signatures completely legal and just as enforceable as a paper signature. Now, another benefit of using technology and e-signatures is that it's a lot faster. You no longer have to coordinate with people, meeting up in person, meeting at a Starbucks to sign a lease. Everything can be done electronically in, in the cloud. There's no more printing, scanning, and faxing lease paperwork back and forth either. And then finally, documents are all stored in the cloud. Um, it's fast, it's efficient, everyone can stay organized, documents are stored that way. Now, this technology isn't new, but in the past, it's existed in these very fragmented ways. So you would create an email account, then you would go to Zillow, you would go to apartments.com, you would go to each of these different sites, and you would create different logins, recreate the wheel, do everything in different steps. This isn't going to show up exactly how I wanted it to, but meant to illustrate how many different steps you could go through in order to find tenants, screen tenants, and lease your properties all electronically. You could duct tape a bunch of these different solutions together. What we've done at Rent Solutions is bring all these pieces together into one beautiful end-to-end -end solution that automates as much as possible 
but gives you, the broker, and the owner as much control as you want. So you've got all the different toggles of when to request applications. Is it immediately right when a lead comes in? Or do you want to do it later after you've spoken with someone or shown the property? All these different features are yours to customize as you want. Now, to quickly recap, how can we be successful by using technology in the rental space? Well, the first and most the first and easiest is just use it. Use technology. It'll make your life easier, save you time, oftentimes save you money. It's also what millennials want. So giving them what they want is the best way to attract new customers. You should also encourage more adoption of technology. Real estate, as Aaron's mentioned, is one of the oldest oldest industries in the country, but one of the last to really adopt and embrace technology. So encouraging the adoption, helping spread the word that technology really is the new way of doing things. And then lastly, and a short shameless plug, we already do all these things. Rentolutions does these things today. We want to help. We're helping more than 20,000 owners across the country today, and we want to help you. Thanks.